Income statement and balance sheet are important financial statements to review before investing in stock. Statement of cash flows is the third important financial statement that talks about financial health of a company. In this session, I will cover what is statement of cash flows, how statement of cash flows is different from income statement. With no further ado, let's get into the details. Statement of cash flows tells you how much cash is entering and leaving company in a given period. Let's go back and recall from income statement. Income statement records company's net profit and earnings per share. Whereas statement of cash flows summarizes the amount of cash entering and leaving a company. You might question. How statement of cash flows is different from income statement? Let's try to understand difference with example. To make this concept simple, think about business that sells cars. Let's assume during a period of three months, business managed to sell 1,000 cars. I will assume each car generate profit of 1 lakh for sake of simplicity. You can calculate overall profit of the business for three months. The total profit will be 10 crores. In business, all the sales don't happen on a cash basis. Few customers will buy car today but pays cash at later point in time. This is called a sale on credit. Hence, there are two ways profits are recorded. Credit sale. And cash sale. Let's assume 400 cars are sold on credit. Remaining 600 cars are sold on cash. The profit for credit sale would be 4 crores. However, the profit for cash sale is 6 crores. Now, let's understand how income statement will look for this business. Company will report profit of 10 crores. However, portion of sale is done on credit. It is not reflected in income statement. I hope you understand how income statement reports profit. It does not show if the actual cash is received from sale of products or providing services. If you remember from balance sheet session, sales done on credit creates receivable as current assets on balance sheet. Higher percentage of sale on credit results into higher receivables from customers on balance sheet. It is not a good sign for your business. It's time to understand statement of cash flows now. It records information missing in income statement. I explained that statement of cash flows summarizes the amount of cash entering and leaving company. In this example, cash flows statement will record profit for cash sale only which is 6 crores. The remaining profit will be recorded only when it is received by company. Please remember company performance can negatively get impacted with higher credit sale. It can create liquidity or cash crunch. If company has loan which is coming due in near future. Company won't be able to repay due to cash crunch even if you see profit on income statement. On similar line there are several other things where income statement does not reflect true picture. Think about activities like cash spent on unsold inventory depreciation and amortization expenses, capital investment and so on. Hence it is very important to review statement of cash flow from the eyes of an investor. Before I get into details of statement of cash flows, it's important to understand different ways cash entering and leaving company. Cash leave and enter company due to various activities. These activities are broadly classified as operating activities, investing activities, and financing activities. Let's start with operating activities. It refers to the activities related to daily core business operations. It talks about how much cash company earned due to sale of products or providing services. It records cash entering or leaving company due to core operating activities. It includes activities like revenue from sale of products or providing services, expenses, taxes, depreciation, amortization and so on. The next line item is investing activities. 
it refers to the activities related to investing to seek benefit at later stage. In short, it talks about how much and where company invested cash. It is primarily divided into two types of investments investment related to operating and non operating assets. Operating assets include s assets like property, plant, equipment, machinery, and so on. They are required to conduct normal business o p e r a t i o n c o m p a n y invest cash on such assets to seek greater benefit over estimated life of assets. Thus, cash spent on purchase of property, plant, equipment, machinery is recorded as investment into operating assets. Please remember, c o m p a n y can generate cash from selling old property, plant, equipment, machinery, and so on. The net expense due to such operating activities are called as capital expenditures. Sometimes this is also referred as capex. Let's understand non operating investing activities. When c o m p a n y has excess cash, it can invest cash in various financial assets to seek larger benefit at later stage. It includes financial assets like investment into fixed deposits, mutual funds. Buying equity shares of other companies and so on. When cash is invested, it is considered as cash leaving the company. When investment is sold, it is considered as cash entering the company. Non operating investing activities include s cash generated on sale or spent on purchase of financial investments. Let's review the next line item Financing activities. It includes activities related to cash raised or paid back to the investors. In short, it talks about how much new cash is raised or returned to shareholders. There are different ways money can enter or leave the company due to financing activities. Let's get into details of few items. There are primarily two ways c o m p a n y can raise money from outside. Company can take loan and in turn pays interest and capital as per agreed schedule. The debt i n c r e a s e capital inflow and it is tracked as positive cash flow. The other way to raise money is approaching shareholders in exchange of shares. This is also tracked as positive cash flow. There are different ways money can leave the company. When company makes extra profit, it issues dividend to the shareholder. This is cash outflow from company to the shareholders. Company can also use extra profit and buyback share to reduce outstanding shares. This reduces company's cash but potentially pushes stock price up. I hope you are starting to understand the importance of statement of cash flows. In next session, I will go into details and understand how statement of cash flows is prepared. Thank you.